The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In the course of his preaching, John the Baptist said, Someone is following me, someone who is more powerful than I am, and I am not fit to kneel down and undo the strap of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It was at this time that Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. No sooner had he come up out of the water than he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit, like a dove, descending on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my son. The beloved, my favor rests on you. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, like not normal today because maybe because of the, the masses without music it's so uh, uh, not like Sunday really a Sunday normally we have music so we felt a bit uh, more happy happier when we come to church so I decided to tell you a, a joke You know about the baptism, a lot of other nominations will immerse you into the water. And the baptism that John the Baptist did for Jesus, he did the same. Put you down in the water. So this joke comes from that, okay? So a very drunk man, he just stumbled himself and then he got into the baptism of uh, one of the nomination that they do the immersion. And uh, the minister just uh, in the water, so he just saw a man next to him and he said, are you ready to fight Jesus? And the drunken man just said, yeah. And the minister just dip him, run him into the water about three seconds and pull him up and said, do you fight Jesus? And he said, no. Second time, about 15 seconds. And the minister said, did you fight him yet? He said, no. And the minister a bit frustrated put him down into the water about 30 seconds, wound him back. Did you fight Jesus? And the drunken man just really didn't see anything, so he said, are you sure that he fell here? <laughs> That's just a joke, okay? <laughs> anyway, baptism. Today we... we we celebrate the baptism of Jesus, baptism of the Lord. And I know that you know very well that Jesus received the baptism from John the Baptist. It's not the baptism that we are receiving when we were baptized. Okay? The baptism of John the Baptist is the baptism that clean people make people ready to welcome the Lord. And also, baptism of John the Baptist call people to repent. That's all about the baptism of John the Baptist. And that kind of baptism was practiced before John the Baptist in the Jewish uh, uh, cultures. When you are uh, unclean, you can use that kind of baptism to clean yourself 
and you will be worthy to participate in the celebrate uh, some important event in the in the temple. So that we know about the baptism that Jesus will receive from John the Baptist. However, when Jesus will baptize on Jordan, and it reveal for us about our old baptism. If you look us on the story today, we hear from the gospel, we will see what Jesus revealed there, or what the Lord would like to reveal for us. I think many important things there, but some points that I would like you to remember when we celebrate today. According to the gospel, when we, Jesus was baptized, he came into the water, John baptized him, and as long as he walked out of the water, and what happened? You remember that? First of all, the heaven was open, and the Spirit come down with the form of a dove. And then the voice of the Father say, This is my beloved. My favor is on him. That revelation is about our own baptism. When you came here, or I don't know what church you was baptized, when you was you baptized, I don't know. But when you was baptized, all of you come close with the Lord Jesus in his baptism. So we first of all, we receive the grace from heaven. That grace, we often say very simply, we are clean. Our sins are forgiven. Whatever sin you have done in your life, maybe you were baptized when you are little, you haven't done anything, but we call the original sin was forgiven for you. And if you are grow up, you have done a lot of wrong things in your life, and the baptism will cleanse you make you clean because Jesus has been uh, blessed the water and make it available for you in your baptism. That's the first thing. And then the Holy Spirit come down. If you remember on your baptism, can you remember it? No. But I believe that you have come for many times to celebrate the baptism for your ch children, for your friends, uh, for your uh, nieces and nephews, many occasions that you come for the baptism. And with the baptism, you always have the anointing. That's the, the way that we, we confirm that the, the Holy Spirit come and make you worthy for God. And we are become a part of the body of Christ. And when, when we're talking about the body of Christ, you know that we are talking about the church. The church is the body of Christ. And each and every one of us is a part of the body of Christ. We are different, but we are a part of the body of Christ. If we are all the same, we cannot be a part of the body of Christ. The body of Christ has eyes, has ears, has hair, has head, has legs, has body. So it's different. But we are all a part of the body of Christ. And we often say, the law or Jesus is the head of the church. So in baptism, we are become a member of the body of Christ. Like Jesus and finally, you, you can find from the baptism is the saying very clearly that you are my beloved. 
in the gospel say, you are my beloved son. Because Jesus is there. But in your baptism, you will hear that you are my beloved. Maybe you are son, you may be daughters, you may be in the middle. You are God's beloved. Whatever you are, if you was baptized, you are God's beloved. That confirmed very clearly from, from the baptism of Jesus. In our life, we sometimes don't really hear that. Or if we hear it, not very clear. But in the baptism of the Lord, make sure for us that we all will be called beloved. Or in short, we are children of God. That's very important what we are doing today. It's reminding us about the grace of baptism that we receive. And also you receive a special mission too. Not only become a children of God and then sit there doing nothing. No. You become a special and then you are sent for a mission. As the Lord, after his baptism, he went into the desert and then prayed there 40 days and 40 nights. And then he's starting his his mission, his ministry. So we too, when we are baptized, and then we are sent forth for our mission. And again, if you really understand the baptism that we re receive or we was baptized, you will know that our mission as a king kingly, priestly, and prophecy. You remember all of that? I hope you remember. If not, I remind you today. All that when you was anointed with the charism oil, reminding you, you are kingly, priestly, and prophecy. What does it mean? When you are prophetic, prophet like uh, a prophet is not the one that telling something in the future no the prophet is someone say the word of god proclaim the word of god so when you baptize you are called or your mission is tell people about the lord that is your mission and if you are priestly, you didn't stay there and saying Mass. No, but you participate on the celebrating Mass. So when you come to Mass, you, you are attend to the Mass. You celebrating Mass with the priest. If you wasn't baptized, then you come for Mass, you may be a watcher. You come to watch a Mass. You not come to attend a Mass if you wasn't baptized. And in that case, it's boring like hell. You come and see me and Father Sam just do the same action, said some word, it's boring. But if you was baptized, you know that you not come to watch the Mass. You come to celebrate the Mass. It, it's so important today that we are reminded all of that. So I think I shut up now, it's too long. But really, I would like you to meditate today and recall on our own baptism and ask the Lord, bless us and make us to understand that what we have received, what we have been through, that's so beautiful. And thanks the Lord for that special grace that the Lord has given you in your baptism. And continue to bring that good news to people. Bring more people to be baptized into our church. And make, make that become 
that really the Lord command for us all who believe in Him, go to all the nations and baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So, Amen.